<laughs> Holy shit. This baby isn't even one years old yet. And it's fucking stirring up mad controversy. Let me hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> they make the screen bigger some presenter from bbc got fired because they referred to the royal baby as a chimpanzee <laughs> people are fucking nuts yo the risk some people take out here man is absolutely crazy that's nuts to say number one and just in this era where you know people are trying to cancel people because of a christmas party right this guy thought he had the balls he had the nerve to refer to a royal baby as a chimpanzee Yo! Um, let's fit the screen here. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is breaking news, right? So, first of all, I was going to talk about Asshole Satanic Mills, but this can fucking wait, right? Satanic Mills can take a back seat to this one. Um, Mama Mia. Oh, is this Danny Baker? I don't know who Danny Baker is. I don't listen to the, anyone listen to the radio. I don't. Like, I don't know who this Danny Baker guy is, but. Uh, oh, my God. Insane. What a mad lad. In 2019, right, where everyone's social justice warrior to the fucking helm, right? People are out there looking to get outraged, right? They're seeking out news, digging through your tweets. You just give them this. You just lay it up to them. Like, here, fuck it. Take my job. Like, wow. Danny Baker fired by BBC of a royal baby chimp tweet. Broadcaster Danny Baker has been fired by BBC of a stupid, unthinking gag on twitter about the duke of duchess new baby just got fired from bbc for the record it was a red source always what is that his, is that his twitter yeah he's not he's not he's, oh, okay is that his real twitter he's not verified doesn't look like it okay anyway in now deleted tweet which has been circulated on social media showed an image of a couple holding hands with a chimpanzee dressed in clothes and a caption royal baby leaves hospital oh my god the five lab presenter was accused of mocking the Duchess' racial heritage. Baker said, just got fired from BBC. A postman said, this is a serious error of judgment. Goes against the values of a situation aimed to abode. Danny's a brilliant broadcaster, but will no longer be representing a weekly show with us. Harry and Meghan, whose mother, uh, Doria Raglan, is African-American, revealed on Wednesday their son was named Archie Harrison uh, Motorbane Windsor. After an initial backlash on social media, Baker said, sorry, my gag pick of the little fella in the posh outfit was whipped. Sum up. Never occurred to me because, well, mind not diseased. Soon as those good enough to point out its possible connotations getting touched, down it came. And that's it. Yo, this guy is a fucking cock, isn't it? I love how, um, I guess you have to do that, right? When you do something of that, when you do, when you make an error of that level, I guess you kind of have to be a little bit disingenuous, a little bit snarky, a little bit dismissive about it, right? Like how he's saying at the, at the bottom here, sorry, my gag pick of the little fella in the posh shoot whips him up. You have to kind of be a bit like that because there's, you, it's either two reactions. You kind of dismiss it like, oh, look at these, um, you know, snowflakes overreacting or you double down. There's not, you can't really, you can't really pretend like you didn't know. Well, that's what he's basically doing, right? You can't really because you know what you're doing. You know the kind of you know you know what you're you know what you're trying to provoke. And the problem is, I don't have an issue with a joke if it's a joke and it's funny. But he's not even a comedian. He doesn't even have the chops to kind of make that funny, like in a really like <gasps> wow, I can't believe he said that way, right? It's just it's just that just comes across as fucked, like super fucked. Mama mia! Again, the baby isn't even one years old. And already this is happening, man. Absolutely nuts. This baby's life is going to be an absolute nuttiness. Like, number one, for the sake that it's a mixed race baby growing up in a family that's predominantly white, right? I'm not sure how they're going to be able to juggle that and um, um, what how they're going to be able to parent that way. Because I know reading, having read a couple of interviews with other people who have kind of, other mixed race people have spoken um, about the, the troubles and how hard it was growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood and then suddenly you know, tapping into your black side and the frictions that come with that. And just for me in my area, growing up in Canning Town Custom House, like there were so many, a lot of the racial tensions around my area usually stem from the absent father motive, motif, yeah? So there'll be a lot of, there'll be some, you know, there'll be some, God bless her, really innocent, um, cute girl in the ends who would hook up with some random guy from the ends as well. She end up having a baby. You know, they're too young to have a baby because they're both babies themselves. The boy ends up running away because he doesn't know what else to do. He feels, you know, he feels helpless. He's irresponsible. 
He's reckless. He runs away. He leaves it all to the girl. She's 16 or 15, drops out of school one year before GCSEs, hasn't got any qualifications. The parents don't really have that much money themselves. And all of a sudden now, without asking, they're suddenly grandparents and they're having to feed another extra mouth in the house, right? So I can I can understand why there'll be some kind of level of resentment towards that guy and everything he represents, whether his area, his country, his race, um, whatever it may be. I understand why that level of hate will come from. And again, I'm from that area. I'm from Customized Canyon If you're from Customized Canyon you know what those mixed race girls from that area are like, right? And some of them, when they get brought up, they get brought up with that kind of resentment towards their father because of course their mothers had to do you know godly ungodly amount of things to kind of keep a roof over their heads and make sure they're fed and don't go hungry so you can only imagine what they must feel like when people tell them they're not black enough right they're like you know what i the last thing that they want to be is associated with black culture because for them black culture reminds them of their you know garbage dump of a dad so they have this weird way they had this weird thing that they grew up in right world where they grew up in a world where their parents and immediate family treat them like they're one of their own, like they're from, you know, like they're essentially Caucasian. But unfortunately, when they go to the outside world, they're immediately classified as a black person, right? No one really treats them as Caucasian at all. It doesn't happen. Um, so there's that constant friction happening, right? Um, and I can only imagine what it must be like for a royal baby. It must be exponentially, right? Up there, right? Really, really crazy. Then you get on the top of it, you get people on this on the internet or on social media like this, absolute donut danny baker right look at look, look at the face look at the face of this guy right that's the face of the person online 67 years old who's taking a piss out of a baby right that's the kind of that's of what you're having to deal with nowadays not only are the trolls going after celebrities and trying to get them cancelled for saying something wrong or you know talking about somebody's plastic surgery being the wrong and not doing not doing that right and blah 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 you got 67 year old washed up radio presenters who no one gives a fuck about trying to get viral off of dissing a baby a fucking baby how nuts is that that the world that we live in how nuts how nuts imagine 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 you go to journalism school you you know you intern you are assistant you're a, what's that thing called you're a runner you're getting the coffees, you're working on godly amount of hours, maybe you're a producer, maybe you work your way up, and you suddenly, you finally get a, one of those coveted daytime radio TV station slots that people always want, which I never understand because, you know, I guess they pay really well, but you have to wake up at fucking 4 a.m. every day, Monday to Friday. But imagine, you've got this amazing job, it pays amazing because the BBC pays fucking ungodly amounts of money to people that aren't very talented. And the BBC essentially is a job for life, right? And then you fuck it up because you wanted to get off a funny tweet about the baby looking like a chimpanzee. All right, mate. Absolute nutcase. Absolute nutcase. And again, like I said, the baby's not even one. I was taking a piss out of Megan with her baby bump. She was getting on my nerves everywhere. She was going fucking caressing her baby bump. But that has more to do with the general climate of fucking, you know, gender reveal stuff. Antoine Griezmann did one recently, kicking a ball and it's like, fuck off. It's just, it just annoys me. I hate everything about it, right? But, mamma mia, man. Like, pray for that lady, man. They, 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 they're going to be in for a flurry of fucking nonsense online and on in TV and in general from people. Q, you know, Q, Q 10 second countdown to this donut appearing on Good Morning Britain on one of those shows and trying to explain himself out, out of this fucking bag. Like, absolute idiot. What an absolute idiot. But anyway, you know, again, I guess this is the thing, man. Internet, internet, the internet viral virus really has no it doesn't respect it has no real age limit does it a lot of people say oh it's the kids man millennials there's some young rappers are going into fucking dying, dunking donuts jumping over the counter stealing a whole rack of donuts to get viral to get media attention and then to kind of parlay that into music that's what the kids are doing that's what they say right the kids the kids the kids but you've got a 67 year old man here right 67 right i don't know what how old he is. doesn't matter let's say he's 80, 97 he's, he's he's white and he smokes cigarettes and drinks wine you have no idea but you've got a 67 year old man here trying to get viral and say something funny, right? And that's and that, and that's what you get. And then he tries to back it up by saying, "Just got fired from BBC." Ha ha ha! Yeah, mate, you have, and no one's gonna touch you with a barge pole now because you're a fucking racist. <laughs> it's like, is that really worth it? Honestly, these guys are psychos, man. And we don't even have like, do we have? It'd be different if we had like um. A turning point USA if we had a if we had quite a few or like um what's that one that um um Ben Shapiro talks on? We don't really have many real conservative media platforms, do we? 
like all that that are big for the most part do we have any because it make more sense if that happened like that if there was a a really well-known media a tory kind of run radio station or whatever media platform so that when you do these things in the kind of you know social left and you kind of get cancelled you can sort of go somewhere else and present your show right okay i did you know freedom of speech and all that sort of stuff you start rabbiting on about that and you can start rambling on for hours and hours on stream on those platforms we don't really have them we don't really have them in the uk so essentially he's like in no man's land here right and right like even celebrities don't want to be known even there's there's a lot of celebrities out there that who are Tory who won't say it publicly because they know it'll do their career. You can't necessarily do. You could probably do that in the US. No, you probably couldn't actually. And I'm sure there's a lot of so probably a lot of alien celebrities out there who don't say they're conservative, who are secretly conservative actually. Yeah. Um. Again, wild thing to do. But again, I think the internet viral virus uh, really has no. Age.